In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Java 21 for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment and then it is going to bring you to this page right over here where it is going to provide you with the direct downloads to all the files that you will need and it will also provide you with a written step by step guide. So step number one is to visit the official Java download page. So we can go ahead and find that through this URL right over here. It's going to be underneath step number one, and it's also going to provide some images. But all we need to do is we need to press on this link, and then it is going to open up a tab that looks like this. So you just want to double check that JDK21 is actually selected because that represents Java 21. Then you want to go ahead and select in your operating system. So we have it for Linux, Mac OS, or on Windows. Now me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on that. So because I'm on a Windows, I would go ahead and install the x64 installer right over here, so this option, and then I would need to go ahead and press on this link. However, if you're on a Mac OS, then go ahead and download this one right over here called ARM64 DMG installer. Make sure to go ahead and install this. If you're on a Linux, you want to go ahead and install the x64 compressed archive. So again, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and install the x64 installer. So let's go ahead and press on that, and now it is going to begin installing Java on your device. Now depending on your web browser you may be able to see the download right over here on the top right however if you do not see it do not worry because you could always go ahead and open up your file explorer right over here and then just look underneath downloads regardless you still should be able to see like a .exe file so all you want to do is you just want to go ahead and just press on it like so and then now my screen is black at the moment and that is because my computer is asking me if I want this app to make changes to my device. So go ahead and press on yes. So I apologize that you can't see my screen, but you will get something that looks like that. All right. Anyways, then you're going to be brought to a page that looks like this. And all you want to do is you want to press on next and then go ahead and press on next one more time. And now it will begin to install Java on your device. Just wait for it. It really shouldn't take too long and Java is incredibly useful. All right. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on close. Now from here, what I recommend that you guys do is actually go to the search bar and look up CMD and this is going to open up your command prompt. And once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to type in Java, then you want to press on hyphen and then version just like so then go ahead and press on enter and you want to make sure that words to the java version that 21.0.7 or whatever number is actually appearing so that is how you're able to tell that java was successfully installed and we do have java 21 on our device but guys if you're still running into any issues whenever you're trying to run like java files and stuff like that then please consult step number five in the written guide you could still run into issues even after you download a java so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press on this link that's underneath step number five then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to press on this link that says jarfix.exe program so go ahead and press on that and again i recommend that you only do this if you're running into issues however it is always good to know just in case java gives you problems in the future but anyways all you want to do is you want to press on the .exe file and again if you don't see it over here on the top right do not worry you could always open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads but all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it like so but basically it is going to ask you if you want to allow it to make changes so go ahead and just press on yes. And once you're done with that, you're going to get a pop-up that looks like this. And if you get this, that is a good thing. That means Jarfix did work. So go ahead and press on okay. And from here, go ahead and try to run any Minecraft mods or shaders or anything that you're trying to actually do. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.